Um, what about the, um, where it, oof, that looks weird. Uh, where is the, uh, other two? Where are you at? Hey, Felix. Anything I can do for you? Good to see you, boss. So, how'd you end up on the Groundbreaker? Can I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. No. And you were raised by a pack of sprats, right? That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you pick me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. It came I today. The groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. You were a stowaway? That's what they called us. Orphans with no family, no company to take us in, nowhere to go but the back bays. The words a touch kindlier than rung leech, but the meaning's just as clear. If you can't support your own self, you don't deserve to be on the groundbreaker. Oh, how did you manage? Same way we all do. Look for work and hope somebody would give me a shot. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. The foreman and I never got on. Right, the incident with the toss box. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint? But not but you. But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick? That felt good. That felt real good. You want to try it? Uh... Boo. Uh... You couldn't have been diplomatic? Yeah, I mean, in theory. But I wouldn't have felt half as good. Yeah. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. Um, I'm glad you're not wasting your life falling by. Yeah, I guess my ship did arrive in the end. I've got you to thank for that. You're welcome. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. Okay, but you're staying here. <laughs> I don't like you. My friend doesn't like you. Don't care about all that. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. By verity, by strength. Mm -hmm. What are we contemplating today? What are you contemplating? Uh, let's talk about this personal quest of yours. Yes, I've been meaning to discuss exactly that. Now that we know where uh, the scholar is, when will we be searching him out? Soon. As soon as we can. Okay, that didn't get me anything. I guess it's outside we go. La la la. Out. We're, ah, there's out. Oops. Okay. Out. Alright, let's pick my two favorite people. Our body. And Vicar Parvati and Vicar Max. Okay. Continue. Okay, we have traveled to the relay. Ooh. Keep him quiet, Cap. Reactivate. Cancel. Now, are those people? Oh, no, they're just robots. They're merely robots. I want my gun. And I pulled out my gun. Yep, that's the right one. Okay. It's a touch different from the ones I've seen. Shouldn't be so hard to get attached up, though. Nope. This is an unmanned station, right? It's unmanned, but there are robots. They don't see me. I'm invisible. You can't see me. Can you see me? Not well enough. Tee hee hee. 
Okay. Um. I want to go in there. Ooh, what's over here? Mm -hmm. Just stay not seeing me, please. Oh, um. Okay, good. No, no robots here. And it's not stealing. Yay. Yay. Ooh. Adreno. Ooh, what are you? Phrase journal, a beautiful dream. Last night I dreamed and it was beautiful. The streets of Byzantium were decorated with crimson streamers that laughed in the breeze. They asked me to take them, to give them to my special ones. I gathered the crimson in my arms and felt so alive, so happy. I turned and Delilah was beside me. I did not question why my supervisor was there, her eyes so full of emotions. I know she feels but dares not show at work. I wrapped her neck in crimson, tying it tight as a scarf on a cold day. So beautiful. Then the crimson on her neck opened as a second mouth and began screaming, screaming. When I awoke, I was scared. The dreams are so real now. And this time I recognized the face. I had to leave work early today. Every time I looked at Delilah, I heard a whisper in my mind about how beautiful she would look with a touch of crimson on her neck. Her neck. This must stop. This is not who I am. This is not who I will become. I must find help. Oh, we got a serial killer on our, on our, in our midst. Um, boop. I take oop, more. I take again. I take all of your things because I can. Um, it takes three, huh? There, this way, this way. I'll spend three mags to see what's in here. Woohoo! Okay, let's oop. Let's undo that. Oh, good. I get one of my mags back. Sweet. And a bunch of ammo. Okay, let's see what's in here. Uh, auto mechanical home security control system. Please select from the following options. Uh, display unit status. Unit status. Zero mechanical set to charging routine. Six set to patrol designated areas. Hostility level kill on site. Great. A hostility override for owners active. List of valid owners Alexander Frey. Well, let's update those routines. Um, begin charging cycle, please. Yay! All units will now go charge. Which should make things a lot easier for me. Am I correct? Thanks. Oh, Bard. Boo. I gotta come this way anyway. I can put away my gun, though. I won't be oh, what is all this now? Can I? Um. Will that do it? That will not do it. How about about that one. I mean, that's all well and good. But it does not help me with this. Um, but I can pack into that for free. Which is a net positive. And it looks like I can just go around. Oh, look. It's another one of those. <laughs> Man, ooh, tactical shotgun. Nice. Nice. Um, okay, good. They are seepy time. 
Pee pee time. <laughs> uh, I'll take some parts. Uh, some liquor, a pickaxe, and let's examine that. Uh, phrase journal escape. I've had to start a new journal. I can't read my previous entries without the whispers tempting me. The whispers do not stop. Every person I see, the whispers tell me to help, help, help them. They show me the pain and the longing in their hiding in their eyes. They tell me how these people want no need the gifts that I can give. All it would take is a few moments with a blade, a bright, bright fountain of crimson to delight the eyes of, and all of their pain would be gone. I could do it. I know how to help them. It gets harder and harder to stop myself. I saw a friend today, an old friend from school, who's now a doctor for Auntie Cleo. I told him about my dreams. Nothing outright. Oh no, I'm not as so foolish as that. I told him it was an old book I'd found and described my dreams and whispers as happening to a character in the book. I asked him how he'd help this character. He looked at me and he knew. He knew. He knew! The whispers told me to end his pain that he'd tell. He'd tell. I got up and left quickly. I did not hurt him. Not... Not... I have to leave Byzantium. He will tell. 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 They'll come for me and lock me away. I must find a secret place. A place I can be alone. A place with no whispers. Huh. Oh, look. It's... It's that. I did it. I did it! Can I turn it off now? No. Dumb. Alright. This away. Um. What's in here? Hey. Ammunition. Weapon parts. Uh, oh. Thank you. Totes a prish. Uh, more parts. Um, ooh, for free for me. Oh, the vermin. What is the vermin? Uh, it may use the heavier, more expensive ammo, but it's worth it. Oh, it might knock people out. Nice. Take them all. Uh, you. Oh, just armor parts. Just armor parts. Um, I think this might be the room. Uh-oh. But first we have more of the story. Phrase journal, the source. The whispers have a source and I found it! Found it! I have taken refuge on an orbital relay station. It's smaller than a worker's hovel, barely a few thousand square meters, but sufficient for my needs. I was able to flee Byzantium with enough bits to purchase supplies to last for decades. It was strange being among common people on the Groundbreaker. The whispers barely stirred at the sight of their ill-fed, scarred, and unwashed bodies. If only there were fewer freighters docking there bringing real people from Byzantium. I could almost have made a home temptation free. Free. As I made the place livable, or as much as it can be, I started hearing the whispers from the relay terminal. They told me to listen to the voices traveling through the ether to reach me, calling out to me to help them. Alone. Lonely. Needing my help. I found a way to power down the transmitter. No more voices in the aether. And no more whispers. They fell silent, silent, silent. This was not me. It's not. Not! I'm not this foul thing that I've feared for so long. It was the voices in the aether trying to make me hurt others. But I was stronger than they. And I've defeated them. Them. <laughs> them. 
I have already begun making plans to return to my home. Now that the Whispers are defeated, I can resume my life again. I can't wait to return. I miss my family and my co-workers so much. Especially Delilah. Creepy, creepy dude. Free? Oh, look, another freebie. I will take. Thank you. Uh, ooh, oh, Tremor Cleaver. Oh, Bleed. I might give that to somebody. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Food. Ammunition. More ammunition. Anything else? Anything? Shunt. Purple Berry Crunch. Delicious. Man, he wasn't kidding about being stocked up. Of course, I can't take everything. Boo. That's not very nice. I should be allowed to take whatever I want. Oh, nope. We want that button. Nah. Anything back here? Anything? No. Um. Hey, hey, hey guys. Hello. Alright. Um. Like this way gets me to. Oh, empty. Fine. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, I mean, feather dust and all, but you are, you look like a big boy. Uh, turlet. Heavy grade face mask. Um, mm, 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 mm. There we go. 